furious dad fights school after his daughter was expelled for the most outrageous reason. Teenage life is a phase full of energy, hope, life, joy, beauty, and passion. But we all know that nowadays being a teenager is not as easy as it seems. Rebellion and defiance are common things in adolescence. For most teens who reach puberty and have their hormones rampant, this can be a difficult time to cope with. Keep looking to find out what Demetra had to deal with for the way she looked. Imagine your first day of high school. Ready to make friends, experience new things and have fun before you turn into an adult. But of course, high school isn't all roses. As a teen, when going to high school you find you have a lot in common with some people and not so much with another ones. Teenagers engage in a lot of risky behavior. Sometimes it's because they lack the self-control to keep themselves from engaging in them. Alcohol use and cigarette smoking typically begin during these years, along with lots of other risky behaviors, like reckless driving. This was not the case for this straight-A student that almost got expelled for the most outrageous reason. Click next to see what happened. Imagine starting your morning normally when something terrible happens that ruins your whole day. That was what happened to the real estate mogul and investment banker, Tony Alarkin when a phone call from his daughter's school confused and scared him. It was only when he arrived at the school that he understood what had happened and he immediately became furious. Make sure not to miss number 15, number 13, and number 9. It was an ordinary morning for Tony Alarkin, who after dropping off his daughter to school went to his work. However, he wasn't prepared for how his day would change after a phone call from his daughter's principal. Click next to find out what upset Alarkin. His daughter was just an ordinary teen like every other and had never caused troubles in school before. So, Alarkin was very confused after the school's principal called and told him that he needed to come to the school immediately due to some serious trouble with his daughter. But what had happened? Click next to find out. So, after hearing this he rushed to his daughter's school to find out what had happened. When he arrived he found his daughter crying outside the principal's office and he couldn't understand what had upset her so much. However, when he spoke with the principal he found out and he was furious. As soon as the principal started talking, Tony understood this wasn't his daughter's fault. He always has been by Demetra's side and was proud of his brilliant daughter. Who would have thought the school can expel a student for such an outrageous reason? As the conversation kept going, Tony could not believe what he was listening. The principal told him that his daughter had to be expelled due to her inappropriate clothes that violated the school dress code. When Alarkin heard that he became furious with the school as he couldn't understand what was wrong with his daughter's appearance. Alarkin's daughter Demetra was very upset and embarrassed and she couldn't understand what was wrong with her clothes, as they weren't any different from those which the other girls were wearing. Her supposedly scandalous and dress code breaking clothing was a blue romper that was perfect for the high temperatures of the season. Demetra chose this outfit in order to be comfortable as the temperatures were really high that day. The temperature was very high, almost 90 degrees and she didn't have any idea that her choice would cause so much trouble. The teacher sent her to the principal's office even before the very first class ended. Tony was stunned when the principal, instead of acknowledging her mistake, gave them a temporary solution. So, the principal, in order to give closure to the issue told Tony that he could either take his daughter home or bring her a new outfit. Even though Tony was very upset with the principal and believed that all of this was unreasonable, he chose to bring his daughter the new outfit. However, that was only the start. The principal claimed that according to the school dress code, her shorts had to pass the fingertip test. In this test, the thumbs have to be above the hemline of the shorts, skirts or dresses a girl wears. The principal claimed that his daughter didn't pass it and therefore she would have to change clothes. Click next to see her outfit. This was the outfit that according to the principal, didn't pass the fingertip test. Tony couldn't find what was wrong with his daughter's outfit. But in an attempt to help her, he went back home and brought different clothes for Demetra to wear. He thought this was going to be enough, but the principal's reaction shocked both of them. Because it was a really hot day, Alarkin wanted his daughter to be comfortable, so the clothes of his choice were a pair of denim shorts along with a plain tank top. He was sure that this outfit would be appropriate. But for their surprise, when the principal saw it, she wasn't pleased. She told them that once again this outfit was inappropriate and Tony was furious. He demanded to see with his own eyes if his daughter would pass the test, which she did. He couldn't believe that even this outfit wasn't appropriate and demanded the truth from the principal. What was really the issue for his daughter's suspension? However, when he heard the truth from the principal, he became even angrier. 
So, why did the principal insisted that her outfit was inappropriate even if it passed the test? Tony was outraged. He demanded explanations and didn't want to hear any other excuses. He told the principal that many other girls seemed to violate the dress code, but none of them was expelled. So, the principal decided to tell Alarkin the real reason behind all this. She claimed that Demetra's appearance was distracting her male classmates' attention and that was why she had to change her outfit. After hearing this, Tony lost his temper as he couldn't believe the reason why his little girl was punished. The principal told Tony that if he didn't want to take his daughter home for the day, he should bring her a pair of leggings. However, it was really hot outside and this seemed like a punishment for the little girl who couldn't be comfortable on a hot day due to her male classmates. Tony couldn't let this pass. Moreover, when Dimitra heard the real reason behind her punishment she started accusing the principal of having double standards. She said that the dress code rules appeal only to girls. Boys only have one rule which is not to wear hats in the classroom, but they wear them anyway and never get punished. So, when her dad heard what his daughter had to say, he demanded to see the school dress code rules. Then he decided to make a poll and asked his daughter's girlfriends what was their opinion of the dress code rules. Everyone said that they were unfair and they prevented them from being comfortable on a hot day contrary to their male classmates. After that, Tony knew that he had to do something. So, he contacted the local news and arranged to appear there in order to talk about the outdated school dress code that forced the girls to be uncomfortable on a really hot day to not distract their male classmates. He claimed that the parents should be those who would choose what would be comfortable enough and appropriate for school and not some outdated and unfair school dress code rules. Many agreed with his idea and admitted that what had happened to his daughter was really unfair. Those who were on Tony's side were furious with how schools were treating and punishing young girls due to what they were wearing on a hot day, even though the boys could wear whatever they liked. But, some didn't agree with them. Many claimed that there should be dress code rules because otherwise, the teenagers would wear whatever they liked appropriate or not. This would cause the distraction of the other students and the situation would be out of control. Finally, the school agreed that the rules needed to be changed and started working on some new rules that might be friendlier to the female students on a hot day. Let's hope that the new rules will be fairer towards everyone.